Hi, I'm Robbie and welcome to Sailing Aluka, where we sail our 46 foot catch from Adelaide to Darwin via the East Coast. This episode is all about Port Stephens, where we spend a week or so here, mainly because we have to hide from weather, we have a major mechanical issue where we have to lift the boat, and also, a good thing, I get to see my old boat that I sold about six years ago, my hands Christian. I hope you really enjoy this episode, we enjoyed making it. Beautiful day here in Port Stephens. Just running up the gen set for an hour or so. Uh, we've got to run it for about an hour in the morning and hour and a half at night and then that charges everything up. We turn everything on while we can do it anyway. That's all that technical stuff. Listen, we've got a, uh, today is Wednesday and uh, we've got a bit of a situation here. We've been here for two days and we really want to get north. However, we've got a really bad weather system coming up um, in the next couple of days and I'll just show you that. So what's going to happen, nice couple of days and then it's going to be blowing like 35 knots huge swells out there the biggest drama that we've got here heading up this new south wales coast is that from port stephens on you've got a bar crossing everywhere you go you've got to cross a bar so you know you've got port macquarie you've got uh, clarence river that we really want to go and have a look at um coffs harbour going in there that's not too bad but even coming into port stephens here some people say look you know it is technically a bar um you know and so you need to be a little bit careful so what we've decided to do we're going to hang out here for a day or two uh and then uh, we're going to come back on grid and we're going to go and spend some time in the marina when this uh, this weather's shitty there's some beautiful marinas here uh and uh, yeah we're just going to enjoy ourselves and just take a week slowing down a little bit you know we've uh, we've had some rather rough weather as you've seen it's just we really just want to you know enjoy ourselves and and sail around and really really have a bit of a good time so the big trick is don't rush you know so uh, from here on in let's go and see what we can uh, we can find in port stevens and then yeah just ride out this weather and then hopefully be a gorgeous run up the coast sounds like a plan <laughs> let's see how that one works out <laughs> okay let's go So here we are in Shoal Bay, just picked up another mooring, one of these public moorings, very handy, grab a hold of her and go. Let's just do that, let's go. Coffee time. Most important things that you need to have on your boat is spares and um, the second most important thing is your emergency backups so uh, today what we're doing is that we're uh, every six months we check all of our emergency backups just to make sure that we know where we are and what's more important make sure we haven't stacked anything on them just in case um, uh, we need them in a hurry so we've actually learned at this moment in time we're going to relocate this this is our emergency steering so just in in this section here we're actually in the back of the boat right and uh, this is the rear cabin obviously so we have a queen-size bed here right underneath 
we've lifted the mattress up and this is what we've got underneath here. So I'll just show you what we've got underneath. In, in this section in here, we have our 600 amps of lithium, right? That's all on that side. Then we have uh, most of our exhausts and all bits and pieces that come up through here. Two big storage areas, big one on that side, big one on this side, and also some hard storage that we can put in here. So what we've got in here, we've got a spare rock anchor, uh, and we've also got a spare prop. So if our, uh, if our gory prop bugs out, this is our, our just solid brass prop, we've got that. It's got a locking nut on the inside of it as well. Coming back into here, this is where our steering is. Right, so you see our main steering shaft that goes down, hydraulic lines, all our bits and pieces, um, you know, the rudder indicators and all that sort of stuff. So you can get to it quite easily. The big thing, but is, if we lose a hydraulic line or something like that, so shit, how are we going to steer this thing? So this is our emergency steering, just here, all made of stainless steel. And what it is, it's very easy, and it's only in two sections. What we do is it's straight at the top of the cabin here, there's a hole. It's plugged at the moment. That goes through to the outside deck, right? So then what, what happens with this thing here? is that um, it's only in two sections. So the first section has got a big square block on it. It sits on top of this, this head here, and then it's got a lockdown screw nut in it. All right, so I'll show you that. Just in there, in the end. All right, so lockdown screw down nut, that goes in there, all right? We then undo the bolt. This goes through the second bit. That comes down through the deck, goes in there, and all of a sudden we've got a tiller, all right? As soon as we get the bed off, right, which won't take very long, believe me, if we're out there and we're going towards rocks and shit like that, don't take very long to lift this bed, <laughs> right? And to get this system in, right, it's a simple matter of lift this sheet out, take this bit off, whack it on, right, just knock that out, drop the shaft through, put the bolt through, and we're up and going. You know what you're doing? You can have this going within 60 seconds, right, because that's what you really want to do. The problem that we had, where we had it stacked, it's just taken me five minutes to get the bloody thing out. So... What we're going to do, we're going to relay it on the top because um, this is a very essential piece of equipment that hopefully we'll never have to use. That's my tip for today. Make sure that you know where you, all your backups are, but most importantly, use them every six months just so you know you can get to them. Don't let yourself get manipulated this way. Stay out of this, Chandler. This is between me and me. fun day we're in here in Port Stephens and uh, the new owners of my old boat uh, that I sold uh, which is a Hans Christian uh, we finally managed to be able to track them down anyway, they've come and picked us up and uh, give us a quick tour and uh, I'm just about to go and see my old boat I sold us six years ago very very excited very excited <laughs> okay well this is absolute Christmas for me because uh, I met this bloke up in Darwin a little while ago about six years ago when he came up and actually bought the vessel that is sitting behind us here, Anchi 3 office, and uh, now she's sitting down here in Port Stephen. So, Andrew, how are you going? And Kim? Good, yeah, now we've just had a little bit of a look over the boat. So, uh, yeah, just tell us a little bit about um, what, what's going on with the boat and, and what you've done in the, in, since you've had it. You've had it six years now? Six years, mostly been in the refit business. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, thanks, we've, we've, we've sailed around the bay, learned how to sail it, and now we're um, just doing the last bit of refit on it 
new rigging and um, a facelift. You've done a couple of big jobs in there, so um, the two big ones I see, they've got the fuel tanks out. Yeah, we lost fuel tanks, so we were forced to replace them. Mm -hmm. So now I've got stainless steel fuel tanks. The no. motor's been done. New composting toilet. Yes, now that's a very interesting thing. So we've got a, a brand new engine in it and the new composting toilet. Oh, yeah, so there's the musts, the things you need to have. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a lot of my mates are putting these things in. I don't know if they're going to work or not, but anyway, look, uh, yeah, look, everyone that's got them in, they reckon they're great. So, um, yeah, so any other major dramas that you've had with the boat? Uh, no, not really mechanically or anything. The only dramas are us learning how to sail. <laughs> <laughs> had a few little scary moments, but we're, we're good. Yeah, well, that's, that's the easy It's a it? very forgiving boat to sail. So when people are starting to get boats, there's always something else to do, as I'm sure you now realise fully. Yes. We keep saying we enjoy fixing boats. Yeah, it well, keeps us together. People ask me when I finish working on my boat, and I think that when you finish working on the boat, it's normally about two weeks after you sell it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, look, it's, it's, uh, it's looking like it's really great at the second. Uh, it's really starting to come on well. So around Christmas, if all goes well, um, this thing will be back on the So what's the aim from then? What, how, how often do you believe you're going to be able to use this boat? Oh, we want to use it a lot. We're hopefully, we'll be working for six months and sailing for six months. Excellent. Up and down the east coast, and then we'll see how far we go see then. How we go. Right, yeah. well, people are going to see Angie back on the water again, which would be Definitely. absolutely sensational. Look, thanks so much for, for letting us have a look over the boat again. Pleasure. It's an absolute pleasure yeah. to get to see you again. It's uh, it's great. So good to see you uh, and the amount of work that you're doing to it. You're going to have a lot of fun. She's a sensational boat. And good luck. See you on the water. See you. Sounds good. <laughs> okay, well, it's a bit of a day today. Um, we've had an issue with the rudder. It's developed a clunk in it. We've got to dive it down, had a look. Um, there's some movement in the bottom joint, so we're not exactly sure what it was. The dive was a bit inconclusive. So what we're going to do, we're just going to lift her. So we're here at the Moores um, Port Stephens. I've uh, been here for a couple of days, obviously. So yeah, just going over the Tammy lift to get it organised, and we'll stick her in the air and see what the story is. We really don't want the rudder to be falling off, so it's just one of those things. Yeah, we're a bit attached to our rudder. 50 ton Tammy. Yeah, it's a very compact but very good facility. They've got three shipwrights here. I'm sure we're going to be able to sort this thing out. Anyway, this is the hole we'll be filling. Always exciting, this is. Okay, we're in the swings. Okay, um, okay, so it had a bit of an issue with the gory, and what it is is that these, uh, we've got these rubber stoppers that sit in here, and two of them are gone. They were, they were buggered, and the last one was sort of just basically sitting there. Didn't have any new ones, but it had some old ones, so if you just have a look down here, so, so all I had to do is grease them up, slip them in, and then, um, so at least now, you know, they've, they've got bump stops. So the beauty of these gory props is that they do a full rotation, see? So that's actually um, in forward. And then if you go like that, it goes in reverse. So that's a hard pitch, but that's actually the overdrive pitch as well. So they're just a piece of work. Look at that. Imagine trying to draw that on a bit of paper. Anyway, look, it's, they're sensational things. So uh, we now have a two-speed prop working again. Whereas before, we were just stuck in overdrive, which isn't too bad. But now, yeah, when we sail now, it can go into neutral, uh, which is great, which means the shaft won't spin. So that's good. So um, yeah, really good we got her up in the air because I wouldn't like to be doing this dangling my feet with the sharks. Anyway, so that's good. I'll just show you the rudder. All we've got with the rudder is we've got some movement in this stock here. If you go around the other side, you see that what was really worrying me before when we looked at it from, from up uh, on, on top, we couldn't see what these were. They looked like there was three bolts were missing. Um, so these are actually Allen keys in here. So this is the bottom foot stock. So this would come off, all right? And then that would expose this bush. So there's a little bit of movement in this bush, as you'll hear. 
Okay, so really, all that noise is going to do is just keep us noisy up until we get to Brisbane. So um, yeah, it's not going to fall off. It's impossible to fall off, which is very good. We'll just have to um, listen to rock and roll music on the way before we go to sleep. Damn, what is a good song I really like? The boys are back in town. We're back on. Will she float? That's the big question. We're in Port Stephens and we're getting followed by bloody pirates. They're back again, the boys! So look out, uh, yeah. The good ship uh, from uh, episode three, I think it was, yeah. So that's good. So we'll catch up with them tonight. Could be very dangerous. <laughs> okay, well, seven o'clock in the morning. Uh, we're departing beautiful Port Stephens. All weather reports are saying that it's gonna be flat as, there's gonna be no wind. They've got a metre of swell out there and the sprint is on. So we wanna get up to Coffs Harbour so we're going to do a 24 hour stint, uh, we just logged it in, 168 nautical miles. So uh, we've worked that out, it's exactly one day, just about, exactly 24 hours for us. So uh, averaging the speed that we should be able to average. So uh, yeah, off we go. Let's see what it comes, we may see some whales, don't want to see any other night, don't want to wake any up. <gasps> okay, very exciting. Yoo-hoo! The pirates are still asleep. Seven nautical miles out of Port Stevens at the moment, and there's seal rocks just over here. What have you got, bub? It's a whale! Okay, <laughs> very exciting. This is our first whale sighting. Well, I'm just in front of you, so we're not going up close. <laughs> there it is. Okay, 45 miles up. Just had lunch, thanks, Bubby. Lovely. So, uh, yeah. Motor sailing, five knots of wind, so yeah, we're just ticking along the thousand up here just to try and beat it to the ground up, obviously. So that dark cloud, got a visitor out there, the boat is walking past. Okay, it's just coming up to 130. We've done pretty good ground, 45 miles or so. There's forced to there, just in there. We won't be going in there today, obviously. And uh, yeah, so pretty flat seas, a bit of a roll, but not much, only oh, probably a metre and a half swell. Got another little boat that just passed over here. The side. Uh, obviously he's coming, coming wide of us as well. We'll probably disappear. We'll pop back up to the shore in a second. There he is. Yeah. So um, yeah, a bit of a bit of a swell here. You can sort of see how he'll disappear. We'll pop back up again. There he is. Okay. Cool. No worries. So we're just motor sailing. It's um it's only blowing six knots. So uh, try and get some miles done. Okay, well, as the sun sets, we just caught a tuna. Uh, we've got 76 miles under our belt. So Taree is basically straight off there in inland and uh, 110 to go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, an overnight night sort of stint that we'll go. The sun just looks like it's sitting. There is a vessel in front of us here that we're going to follow up. Um, he knows that we're there. It'll be like an hour behind him. Beautiful sunset out here. And uh, very nice conditions. Look at it. Dead flat, no wind. However, the other side of the world over here, there's a few of these storm cloudy things that we're not really, really keen on. But uh, as long as they stay out there, everything will be fine. So, yeah, should be a good night. See you in the morning, everyone. Listen, I've got to tell you, um, that's all we've got time for this week, but look, just sitting here in front of the big Alienware computer editing this up, it just makes you realise that those sunsets and passages like that are just so great and just such a great thing, and this is why 
people love being out here doing this sort of stuff. So, yeah, look, I just showed you a really great sunset. Next episode, I'll show you a really great sunrise. We're going to Mackay. I know it's coming ahead. <laughs> it's really good, and it's a pleasure to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed it, okay? Um, we'll see you next episode. You take care.